pledge to the American flag. Ready? Pledge. Learning Center number one. Fantastic job. These songs that they sing, they sing those each and every morning as a way of beginning their devotions. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Um, this is a big night for these young people, these children. Um, I know that us old folks may not see uh, a whole lot of fun in it, maybe, but uh, we're here to give some honor where honor is due. And these students have worked hard. They've achieved a lot of things. And um, it's paying off. They're learning, becoming better people. One day they will become us. And hopefully they'll become better than us. 
I saw a sign one time that uh, had a little boy, as a poster, had dressed up in his dad's clothes and had a top hat on, long, long neckties, pants were hanging down, the coat was down to his ankles just about. And the caption across the bottom said, would you want him to copy everything that you do? So hopefully these children will become even better than what we are. We're glad you're here tonight, and let's, um, I want to let you know that tonight when we give these awards out, it's okay to clap, it's okay to whistle, hoot, and holler. Um, that's one thing that we do not mind and we actually encourage. So without further delay, let's begin to award these students for their hard work this school year. First category that we have is the Thousand Club. Now, what is the Thousand Club, you say? That is where a student has achieved 10 or more 100 percents in a quarter of school. And if you think that's easy, well, just see how many kids did that out of uh, the entire school. It's not to say they didn't all work hard, but some um, made the grade. So, 1,000 Club first quarter of the school year, 10 or more 100 percents. The first student we have will be Brendan Bass. Next student is Miles Bass. And Cheyenne Crosby. In the second quarter, with 10 or more 100 percents, Brendan Bass. Miles Bass. Trenton Bass. Cheyenne Crosby. And Jonathan Wilson. In the third quarter, 1000 Club, we have Brendan Bass. Miles Bass, Trenton Bass, Cheyenne Crosby, and Melissa Naray. In the fourth quarter, 1,000 Club, Brendan Bass, Miles Bass, and Cheyenne Crosby. All right, the next category we have is Supervisor's Honor Roll. And you may ask, what is Supervisor's Honor Roll? It is where a student has academic balance. And in PACES, that means that you're not way ahead in math and way behind in science. You maintain basically the same number of PACES per subject. You have to have recited the monthly Bible memory assignment. And you have to have the requisite amount of tests uh, per each subject 
And you also have to have the important part, an academic average of 88% or greater. Uh, other places might call supervisors on a roll, be on a roll. But for the first quarter in supervisors on a roll, we have Jonathan Wilson. <laughs> principals on a roll for the first quarter. The only difference in principals on a roll and supervisors is in principals on a roll, you need an average of 94% or greater to make this on a roll. And in the first quarter, we have Brendan Bass. <laughs> Miles Bass. <laughs> Trenton Bass. <laughs> Nina Kasner. Diane Crosby, and Aaliyah Morgan. Supervisors on a roll in the second quarter of the school year. The first student is Nina Kasner. And next is Jonathan Wilson. Principals on a roll in the second quarter goes first of all to Brendan Bass, <laughs> Dallas Bass, <laughs> Miles Bass, <laughs> Trenton Bass. And Cheyenne Crosby. <laughs> Supervisors honor roll in the third quarter. First of all, goes to Nina Kasner. <laughs> and Jonathan Wilson. Principal's honor roll in the fourth, I'm sorry, third quarter goes first of all to Brendan Bass. Miles Bass. Trenton Bass. And Cheyenne Crosby. In the fourth quarter, supervisors honor roll. First of all, goes to Nina Kasner. <laughs> and Shelba Winter. Fourth quarter, principal's honor roll goes to Brendan Bass. Miles Bass. Trenton Bass. And 
and Cheyenne Crosby. Ladies, you can have a seat for a moment. We want to bring up our kindergarten graduate, Melissa Nare. Is she here yet? I know she missed a certificate a few moments ago. Is Melissa Nare in the house? Raise your hand up high. Scream. <laughs> She's not here, I promise you. She screamed, you didn't know she was here. We'll come back to Melissa. Let's continue with our awards. Come on back up, ladies. The Nerees, or actually the Hernandez family, had some fun today with electricity being out in their home, and who knows if it's back up when they got home today, so we'll pray for them in the back of our minds here. All right. Well, one of the important things about being an achiever at school and learning something in school is just simply being here, and you would be very surprised what a challenge that is for some people to um, be here and to be on time. It's uh, actually quite amazing uh, for some, the challenge that that presents. But uh, we had some students that worked very hard to overcome that. So we want to recognize the students who had excellent attendance. Excellent attendance is defined as having not missed more than four days of a school year. So the students that missed four or fewer days, the first one of those is Brendan Bass, Miles Bass, Trenton Bass, Jonathan Kasner. Poor staff kids, they can't never stay home. <laughs> Nina Kasner. That's the problem with all these pews. If the staff children are sick, then you come on to school, you can sleep in the church here. Good enough for the saints, good enough for the students. And last but not least, excellent attendance, Heather Jensen. with perfect attendance. Only one student this year, here every single day, without missing a beat. Congratulations for being here every day, Gabriel Odom. There are some students who just cannot get enough of school, and I know that's hard for their fellow students to imagine that. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to imagine that. But uh, some students can't get enough. They thoroughly enjoy school. They look forward to it. Uh, they don't really have a bad thing to say about it. They're here. They work. They're cheerful about it. And recognizing, um, one of these tall ones in the middle, for the School Spirit Award in Learning Center 1, where Sister Shelley and Sister Sarah were co-supervisors. This award for school spirit goes to Cheyenne Crosby. <laughs> In Learning Center 2, where I was the supervisor most days, we have the school spirit award, a student that I honestly believe they love school with all their heart, and I am proud to present this award to Gabrielle Odom. <laughs> Moving along to Mr. and Miss Progress. Yes, that is Miss. They're not married. They're too young for that. 
Um, these two students are students who we look at in the Older Learning Center and we feel like they have made a great amount of progress in their uh, academics, but not only just academics, but their growth as a student, their work ethic, their uh, desire to work, their realization that I must work. Some students, it doesn't quite hit them. Others, they figure it out and say, hey, if this pace work's going to get done, I'm going to have to do it. So uh, the first student we want to recognize for their progress and growth as an individual, as a student, and of course in their work is Jonathan Kasner. Actually, this award is being awarded really to two people. It's being awarded to mom and son. <laughs> and Miss Progress in Learning Center 2 is a student who made great strides in their attitude toward their work. And I have seen a change in them this school year in the way they have worked as compared to last year. And I congratulate them for that. Congratulations to Heather Jensen. <laughs> the next group of awards are called the Character Trait Objective Awards. And these awards go to students, go to every student. And what we look for is a character trait that they uh, exhibit in their life that we that stands out to us and we kind of see this above beyond the rest in their schoolwork there are 60 character traits that they will encounter during a year of school and these are all traits that have been drawn from the Bible with scripture references to back them up and it's these are traits that Jesus Christ has exhibited or did exhibit in his life his walk here on earth and what he was and we endeavor to teach these to our children as I know that you do at home and we want to recognize each student for one trait that we would see in them. The first student is Brendan Bass and the trait that we feel he exhibited was friendliness. The next student we want to recognize in their character trait is Dallas Bass. We want to recognize her for being confident. The next student we'd like to recognize is Miles Bass. We want to recognize him for his being resourceful. Recognizing Trenton Bass for being very perseverant. <laughs> Recognizing Kayla Bradley for being the optimist. Recognizing Jonathan Kavsner as being the man who's always available. Let me define that for you. Let me define that for you. It's not single. It's not looking. It's available for the job that's at hand. Let's read this. Scheduling my priorities to fit the desires of others. <laughs> and as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, follow me. And he arose and followed him. So let's put that in a spiritual perspective. <laughs> it was fun though. Okay. Nina Kasner, we recognize her as being compassionate.
We recognize Cheyenne Crosby also for being compassionate. <laughs> Recognizing Heather Jensen for being considerate of others. The ironic, no, I shouldn't say ironic, but the neat thing here is the consistency in this. As I was preparing for this awards program this year, I was looking back over last year's Character Trade Awards, and another staff member gave her the same award, and I didn't even realize that until after I had done that. So congratulations on your consistency there. Aaliyah Morgan, we recognize her for being meek. Is Anthony Naray here? Did he make it in? Okay, we're going to skip down a couple students. We want to recognize for being, I'm sorry, recognize Monica O'Neill for her attitude of being appreciative. We recognize Gabrielle Odom for having an attitude of joy. She is joyful. Yeah. This girl has always got a song in her heart, that's for sure. And sometimes on her lips. <laughs> Want to recognize Kelby Sexton? He's not here. Okay. And we'll recognize the last individual on our list. I want to recognize Sarah White for her diligence. Sorry, that's not the last person on the list. I was looking at the wrong slide. We want to recognize a couple more before we get to the end of that. We want to recognize Jonathan Wilson and him being submissive. And the last one in this category here, we recognize Shelba Winner for her spirit of being determined. Now, our next category of awards are the Bible Memory Awards. You'll see on the screen, actually, that's only a sampling of the scriptures that the students um, had to memorize and recite this year for grades. Not all of the students had to do all of them, but there were different students, different grades. But you can see that that is a lot of memory and a lot of recital, and we want to award the students who memorized and recited all of their assigned passages. Unfortunately, there is no award for those who missed just one or, or missed a deadline uh, for, for memorizing because they had a certain time frame in which they had to do this and they had to say it by a certain deadline. So we'll recognize those who did it by the book. The first student we recognize is Brendan Bass. The next student is Miles Bass. Trenton Bass.
Jonathan Kasner. <laughs> Nina Kasner. Cheyenne Crosby. <laughs> On this next one here, I owe an apology because um, due to a glitch in record keeping, that glitch being a human glitch, um, there was a scripture that did not get entered in and so we don't have your award here tonight, but we will be getting one for you. But come on up and get your picture at least. We congratulate for all of the Bible memory assignments being completed at Leah Morgan. And congratulations for memorizing and reciting all of her assignments, Gabrielle Odom. <laughs> and also memorizing and reciting all the assigned passages, we have Shelba Winter. The next category is the honor roll category, and I realized before we were covering honor roll for the individual quarters, first, second, third, and fourth. This next category of honor roll goes to those students who achieved honor roll all four quarters of the school year, either A or B, it doesn't matter, but this goes to them who achieved it all four quarters. And the first student who achieved honor roll is Brendan Bass. The next student who achieved honor roll all four quarters is Miles Bass. The next student is Trenton Bass. Achieving honor roll all four quarters was Nina Kasner. Achieving honor roll all four quarters was Cheyenne Crosby. Congratulations very much. We're going to invite to the stage our high school senior, that is Sarah White. Let's give her a hand clap as she comes. Just come on up and stand here. I promise not to be long-winded. I'm going to talk about you for a moment. Y'all forgive me, I wrote down what I wanted to say. I prepared this ahead of time. Some people work really hard and cram four years of high school into five or six years. Let that sink in for a second. Sarah is one of those that put four years of high school into three, and I never got the impression that she was cramming. Many students take on workloads that are way too heavy for them, 
Seven or eight subjects can sometimes divide a student's attention so much that they can't focus on anything at all. Sarah was different. I could hardly feed the work to her fast enough. She's very intelligent and studious and can do anything that she puts her mind to. Sarah, you can be anything that you want to be. Keep doing your best and you will accomplish things others only dream about. I want to present to you your diploma. This certifies that Sarah Francis White has satisfactorily completed a course of study prescribed for graduation from Life Christian Academy and is therefore awarded this diploma today, March 24th, 2007. I feel old. It seems like when I graduated, it was yesterday, but it wasn't. It was 17 years ago which that'd be about the time she was born. That's what bothers me. <laughs> My goodness, 17 years ago. Come back up, ladies. Let me get out of this funk here. I'm in my head. <laughs> All right, more for the overachievers. I mean, for the, for the achievers. Achieving the most 100% all year on test. Learning Center 1, Sister Shelley and Sister... Sarah's classroom. They have the runner-up. This is the student that is second place. And with 87 100 percents. Not bad. Congratulations to Miles Bass. Now, with the most 100s all year in Learning Center 1, with a grand total of 113 100%s, we want to say a big congratulations to Brendan Bass. <laughs> that grin on his face, he acted like he knew that, but I don't, I don't think he did. Now, for the most 100% all year long in Learning Center 2, the runner-up, second place, with a total of 17 100%, we want to give our congratulations to Aaliyah Morgan. Now, with the most 100% all year long in Learning Center 2, with a grand total of 42 100%, congratulations to Trenton Bass. I think he's excited about that. The next category is only for Learning Center 2. This is the most paces completed, and this is because Learning Center 1 does not do paces. The runner-up for this category, completing a grand total of 70 paces this school year. Congratulations to Aaliyah Morgan.
With the most paces completed total in Learning Center 2, with a grand total of 74 paces completed, give a big hand clap for Shelba Winter. All right, academic average. This is where you take all the grades, throw them in the blender, and you spit out the average grade. Runner up for number, uh, learning center number one with a grade average of 96.46%. We want to congratulate Miles Bass. <coughs> With the highest academic average in Learning Center 1, a little drama there, with an overall grade average of 97.73%, congratulations goes to Brendan Bass. Now we go on to the highest academic average in Learning Center 2. The runner-up for Learning Center 2 with an overall grade average of 94.98%. Congratulations goes to, for that average, Leah Morgan. And the highest academic average for Learning Center 2 with an overall grade average of 95.95%. Congratulations for the highest average in that classroom goes to Trenton Bass. We have the Supervisor's Award for Learning Center 1. This award goes to a student who we feel like is the standout student. We look at all areas of their life, uh, of their studenthood, their school spirit, their academics, their attitude towards staff, towards their fellow student, uh, the way they conduct themselves, how hard they work, um, they're pushing themselves to be the best that they can be. And I cannot recall ever there being a more difficult choice for a supervisor's award before. It wasn't actually mine to make. It was for Sister Shelley and Sister Sarah to decide um, what they wanted to do. And it came down to two students. And really, the truth is, they, they should have both received an award. And so we've kind of done that. But um, we literally had to begin, I suggested flipping a coin, but I didn't think that was quite totally fair. And so we began to kind of pick these kids apart, <laughs> see just how much little nastiness we could pick from them and see who was the meanest child. And that didn't work too well. Uh, we tried to pick apart their academics, and there wasn't much to pull at there. And so we just had to look. We had to dig really deep. So on this award, if you want to call the runner-up, you can. It was so close in our decision. But we want to give honorable mention for this candidacy because it was so close. 
I want to mention Brendan Bass. And winning the actual award, the Supervisor's Award for Learning Center number one, that goes to Cheyenne Crosby. <laughs> now, the Supervisor's Award for Learning Center number two. We searched and we searched high and low looking for a student that would meet these qualifications and after much diligence, much hard looking, we came down to where it needed to be and we had to choose somebody. No, we didn't just have to choose somebody. This student well earned this. They worked very hard this year and we're going to present this Supervisor's Award this year to Trenton Bass. The next award we have, this is the Principal's Award, and the students that qualify for this, it's sort of like a Supervisor's Award, but, and I know it's kind of catch-22 here in the situation because I am the Principal and I am the Supervisor, it's rather difficult to um, separate, but this award, the only ones that qualify for this are our upper level students that are in the school. and. I believe that this student's very deserving of this award. They've been a hard worker this year. They have been respectful to the staff. Um, if I keep going on, you're gonna know who it is, so I might as well just go ahead and say this student's name, Jonathan Kasner. The next award that we have here tonight is what we call the Pastor's Award. I'm going to ask our pastor to come up and present this award, please. This award is for outstanding Christian character, and we present this to the student who we feel has exhibited the character traits of Jesus Christ. We see it in their attitude, in their spirit, in the way they conduct themselves around the school, the way they talk to the staff, and just a whole host of things. A student who exhibits just a Christ-like character and attitude, and I'm going to have the pastor present this to the individual. In recognition of your outstanding Christian character, we hereby bestow upon you, Shelba Winter, the Pastor's Award. And Without staff, there would be no one here to keep your kids in line. No, that's, that's really over the edge there. We do want to thank our staff for their diligence, for their hard work. If they would, well, I'll just call you out here one at a time so we can get pictures of you. 
get you to smile real big. Working in Learning Center 1 with our younger students for the very first year, we want to recognize Sarah Liphart. Also working in Learning Center 1, I'll let the multimedia stuff get on by here, bring up another name. Congratulations and thank you for four years of hard work, Sister so Shelley Bass. had the strangest urge to smooch all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know how I restrained that. Come here. <laughs> I wanted to have a special congratulations tonight for our next staff member who has sacrificed, is that the right word? <laughs> 10 years of her life with this school, putting up with many a child and putting up with me and many a parent as well. And 10 years of school here at Life Christian Academy, I want to recognize Sister Joni Kasner. <laughs> now, we don't do gold watches here, okay? Um, but we have a token of our appreciation to you on your 10th year here, and we hope you get a little bit of enjoyment out of it. So there's your certificate. Take that home, crank it up, and rest out. Thank you. We got her an iPod. Okay. We would normally be at the end, but we're going to jump back just for a moment, if you'll bear with us, and we're going to bring up our kindergarten graduate right now and let her do her thing for us, and we're going to give her a award to her. So, Melissa, if you would march yourself up that aisle, we want you to, to, um, to do your thing for us.
mix a pancake. That's okay. She got some stage fright. She did so well during practice today. <laughs> Melissa, here's a diploma. Keep my hand. Congratulations. Here's your diploma. Hang on, let me turn your tassel for you. All right. Give her a hand clap. It's a lot tougher when you're the only graduate. When you are got 10 or 12 up here, you can kind of hide behind the stuff and you can kind of feel loose to let free or feel free to let loose however it's supposed to be anyway. But a um, little stage fright, that's okay. Um, anyway, we thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you so much for your uh, attention, your time. Um, the students have worked very hard and we appreciate you being here to congratulate them for a job well done. Did you have something? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be most appropriate tonight to recognize our principal and all the hard work that he has invested. <laughs> I appreciate uh, my son, uh, even if he is a real loser. <laughs> Recently, he lost four teeth. He's lost 50 pounds. He's lost seven inches in the waist. I threatened to say uh, that he's losing his hair, but he said, don't do that. <laughs> but um, I, I appreciate very, very much the... Uh, the hard work and all the effort that he has put into the years of uh, our school operation. And he is the one that has, on a daily basis, uh, labored to make it operate smoothly as uh, possible. And he's carried a burden for the children, the young people, and the, uh, the, the, the uh, teachers and parents. And so I think he's done a very, very good job. And uh, we commend him. He got his iPod last year. So uh, this year it went to Sister Joni. Congratulations on your 10 years. We congratulate all of our staff. God bless each one of you. Thanks again for coming. You are dismissed. <laughs>